I got two wallets in here. And I got singles, like a bunch of ones. What's the reason that you got a bunch of ones in there, Yachty? I don't know. I think it's just changed. Yeah. From like a broken hundred or something. I wasn't at the strip club. That's what you wanted me to say. Yo, what's up, GQ? I'm Lil Yachty, and these are my centrals. Pot of gold. No, I'm just kidding. This is my grill. Basically, I have my grill in pieces because I like it to give that permanent look. You know, like I like it to look like it's permanent. It comes in six pieces because I love a bright smile. The logic I've come up in my head is I want to make a really lot of money young or, you know, mid age, so like 35. You know, so by the time I'm like 48, 50, I can do all the sh that I couldn't do when I was younger because I wanted to make smart decisions. Like, I haven't gotten any face tats or like permanent teeth because like I wanna act. And you know, I enjoy being a face for, you know, big companies and it's important to keep a proper image. So I'll say when I get like 50, I'll be like super rich. I'm gonna get face tats and I'm gonna get permanent teeth when I'm like 55, like 60. I'm gonna get like a bolt right here under my eye. Like people think when you get old, you can't live, but in my brain, I'm like, I'm working super hard young, so I get old, oh my God, I'm gonna live an extravagant life. I'm gonna tour the world on yachts with young bad bitches, with diamond teeth and face tats at 63. And I'm gonna go by Grandpa Boat. Grandpa Boat with all the bitches, yeah. All right, sunglasses. These ones in particular because these shits are fucking ill. These are Louis Vuitton, but they're from the Nigo Virgil collection. These are extremely rare and they look like just, they remind me of Lokes, like some LA gangster 90s Easy E NWA Lokes. They get a real sleek, cool vibe and they just look fire. I've had so many over the years, I've lost a bunch, but I, sunglasses are a real thing. I like, really like to collect sunglasses. I have a bunch of really cool vintage Chanel glasses, a few product glasses. But also, I have this collection of Future Mood glasses that are super sick, and they kind of these crazy colors. I wish I had them in downstairs. But I'm also doing my own line with them. I'm super excited to just really create and go outlandish with it. So that's the one we're gonna take to the top. Look it up if you haven't heard of Future Mood Studios. And glasses are literally insane. All right, so vitamin E. Make sure I take every single day, literally everywhere I go, no matter where I am, you gotta have vitamin E. Thing with me is I don't eat anything. Like I don't eat any fruits, I don't eat any vegetables. I don't drink orange juice. My doctor just told me that I need vitamin E. Water, not just any water, just water. Of course I've known of Just Water for a few years now, but it wasn't up until maybe like a few months ago. I don't know if it was just extra hot outside or I just had a cold Just Water that just hit different to the point where it was like, wow, Just Water is literally the best water I've ever tasted. And it's, this isn't an ad, like Jaden isn't paying me. This is genuinely just the best water I've ever tasted. So now it's like, like if you saw my fridge, it's nothing but Just Water. And I've just been trying to drink a lot more water. Like my skin gets very dry. I think water tastes better in the car than in plastic. I don't know if that's true, but I do. I feel like it does. So just water is genuinely, can't live without just water. Literally have to drink it every day. I was definitely drinking a lot of soda before, too much soda. But I started realizing, like I started getting caught in the mouth and, and I started having acid reflexes like in the middle of the night, like I'd be asleep and I'd wake up with like built up acid in my throat in the middle of the night and started scaring me, you know? So I started cutting back on drinking sodas. I, I think I took all the sodas out of my refrigerator. Just trying to better myself. If I don't, then I won't be able to live out the dream of Grandpa Boat bitches at 64 in Spain. Girl Scout cookies, Thin Mints. Underestimated, underrated, terribly duplicated. My dad introduced me to Girl Scout cookies when I was maybe four years old. And it's the only cookie he ate Therefore, it's the only cookie I've ate and I grew up eating it, so I've never actually tried another Girl Scout cookie to this day. Well, I don't even know the other flavors, I don't even know. Thin Mint is the one, the winner. The green box, don't give me the baby blue, don't give me the purple, don't give me the yellow. Give me the green. The cookies are top tier, unfuckable. I don't even like mint. 
I mean, chocolate, I don't like any of that, but Thin Mints are God's snack. I actually have my own personal Girl Scout. Shouts out to Jada. Jada always get me right every time it's that season. Jada hit me up and it's time to get them Girl Scout slippery. Shouts out to Jada, get me right with the Thin Mints. Try to get about 20, 30 boxes. Gotta have Thin Mints. That's also my fridge, just water and Thin Mints going crazy. <sighs> my headphones. These particular ones are my Phase Edition Beats. Shouts out to all my boys at Phase. You know I am a Phase Clan member. These get me through any trip, any flight. I love music. Music is my life. Again, another thing my dad introduced me to. I incorporate in every piece of my being. I genuinely in the house have a shit ton of headphones. I mean speakers. I got speakers everywhere in my house. So I'm more a speaker guy in my house. But on the road, anywhere else, headphones. Any flight, any hotel, gotta have a pair of headphones. I love the Red Tiger Stripe camera. So headphones are a necessity. Pizza. I, I love Red Baron, but not Red Baron specifically, just pizza in, in general, all right? Another thing my dad introduced me to, because my dad is literally awesome. Definitely dedicating this episode to my dad, obviously. Pizza, man, it's my favorite food. I eat it every single day. I have been eating it every single day for at least the last 18 years. I'm 23, you know, so at least since I was five. I eat it all. Frozen pizza, New York pizza, brick oven, Thin crust, I'm not a stuff crust fan. I don't like Chicago style either. I like deep dish, but I don't like original Chicago style, which is sauce up top, cheese in the bottom. That's weird and it's like lasagna. I don't know, I don't get it. I'm actually about to release a frozen pizza in grocery stores. And that's the first time I actually ever said that. That was new information that you guys know now. But I am working on my own frozen pizza line. Can't wait to release it because it's my favorite food of all time. Pepperoni is my favorite, but of course we have to cater to everyone. So of course, you know, we gotta do Four cheeses, pepperoni, sausage, uh, supreme meat lovers. I do vegan pizzas for all the vegan people out there. What we're not going to do is talk about the competitors because we love them all. I love our band. I love the Jonos. We love Tony's. I love all of them. I love the Kroger brand. Shouts out to all the frozen pizza companies out there. Killing it. Doing your thing. Shouts out to California Pizza Kitchen and they frozen pizza line. I can talk about pizza for hours, bro. Pizza is my shit. Ah. My keys. I actually suck with the keys. I lose them all the time. I am a terrible key person, but keys are a part of my everyday life. I actually don't have a key to any of my houses, and I have three. My mom keeps a spare of all my keys for the simple fact that I always lose them. My Lamborghini key went missing for like three months. It was in my washing machine. Like in the washing machine, in the little like circle part. I don't know how I got there, it was hiding. In my car, I literally sat in my driveway for three months, my Lamborghini, and it was undrivable. Of your cars, which is your favorite? My Maybach, which is in the shop right now. Maybach. Maybach. <laughs> Precious hard drive. All the data in the world. All my music. Everything having to deal with everything, having to deal with anything that I've recorded, it's right there. That's extremely important. I try to record music every day, so. That bad boy right there is everything. My engineer has a backup, then my head engineer has a backup. I don't have a backup. I'm fucked if that's gone. I spend more time with my engineer than anybody. I spend more time with my engineer and my girlfriend. I'm working on three projects right now, like a New York drill project where I'm like flipping samples on drill beats. I just released a song called Cortex on my YouTube. I'm also working with a production group from Philly called Working On Dying. It's that summer young turn energy and my fans are gonna go crazy for it. That's really what they want and like it's up there. So those two are super important. I also got a project with Lil Tekka. It's damn near done. And I'm gonna start my album in the third, fourth quarter. I'm planning on doing all these side projects because when I do the album, starting the album, I want it to be a completely different vibe. All right. My Issey Miyake shoulder bag. I'm a huge fan of Semiyaki. It's got my wallet, the deodorant. I got diamond chain in here. Uh, more sunglasses. More and more sunglasses, like 50 pairs of sunglasses here. Gotta have all my necessities. Gotta have your mask. Make sure you always keep a mask. Some hand sanitizer. I got my earrings in here. Moisturizer for my face. My passport. I'm cheating right now. This is where I added all my extra shit. 
But this is a part of my bare necessities, man. Right? Right. I gotta have this. I got two wallets in here. And I got singles, like a bunch of ones. Uh, what's the reason that you got a bunch of ones in there, Yachty? I don't know. I think this just changed. Yeah. From like a broken hundred or something. I wasn't at the strip club. That's what you wanted me to say. No, I think this has changed from a hundred dollar bill. And this bag is really sick. It's really big, but it's a shoulder bag. And I just think it's really dope. And it doesn't look flashy. Like it doesn't have any labels or names. It's just a black bag with a leather handle. It doesn't look like anything's in it. It's just whatever. And those are my essentials. Thank you guys for watching, man.